Hi, I'm Jane. I'm a board member with the Great River Children's Museum. And I'm here to talk to you about change and all the feelings that come with when there's change. I know that there may be lots of kids who are thinking about some different change right now. For example, maybe going to school after having been out for a while or maybe trying online school when you used to go to the school building. Or maybe you're doing a change like something like um, just changing bedrooms in your house or getting a new bed or, or maybe you're going on a trip or going to visit somebody. All those kinds of change can make us feel really excited and also scared or worried. We can have both feelings at the same time. I'm gonna share with you a little picture of a little girl who was experiencing change. This little girl was about to go to daycare for the first time after a long time. And what she decided to do was to get into all her favorite clothes, including, I don't know if you can tell, but she's got a little tutu on. It's a blue tutu that she really likes and she's wearing that. And then she put on her backpack. She filled it with, with things that would make her feel happy, would help, help her with the change. And she put it on and then she got her water bottle and off she went. That's how she handled her change. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my backpack and what I might put in my backpack if I was going to, have, going to have some change. You can think about it as like a real backpack with real things in it, or you can think about it as, as a imaginary backpack. What would you need in your imaginary backpack when you head off to something new or to do something that might be a little scary? So I thought about that, but I got a real backpack so, so that I could put some things inside the real backpack here. The first thing I'm putting in is something called cookie. Cookie is a, a funny little thing that actually you can heat up in a microwave and put on you when it's really warm. So it makes me feel warm and comforted. And sometimes when I'm in the middle of change and I'm worried about something, I need something that makes me feel comforted. So I'm putting cookie in my backpack. And then I've got a shell, just a little shell that I found one time on the beach when I was at the ocean. And I'm putting this in my backpack because one of the things that can calm me down when I'm feeling worried is the sound of water. The ocean waves crashing against the shore, that really calms me down and makes me feel happy and calm and like I can handle anything. So I'm putting the shell to remind me of that in my backpack. I've also got a favorite book. I read this book to this little girl sometimes. It's called, I Used to Be Afraid. And I like it because it reminds me that there were things I used to be afraid of, but I got over it by trying and being successful and being okay and finding out that it didn't kill me to do that, it was okay. So that idea that I used to be afraid, I'm gonna put this book in my backpack. The book is by Laura Seeger. So if anybody wants to look for it, it's called I Used to Be Afraid by Laura Seeger. But I'm gonna stick this in my backpack to remind myself that I used to be afraid thing of things and now I'm not. A really good friend of mine gave me this rock. It's just a rock. It's a big black rock, but it reminds me to stay grounded, to keep my feet on the ground, to not get all worried and let my mind go all over the place. I'm just gonna keep grounded by putting this rock in my backpack too. Now my backpack is getting really heavy. I can feel how heavy it is with that rock in there. One other thing I'm going to put in there is, this is a picture of my mom with me and thinking about my mom and thinking I'm bringing my mom with me also helps me feel more brave and like I can do things that are for the first time and that make me feel both excited and scared and worried. I'm also putting a couple, couple of pieces of paper in my backpack. You might not be able to read what it says on here, but I have a couple messages my, to myself. So one is from the person who is a person who's really special to me. And that person said, my love goes with you. So everywhere you go, my love goes with you. And that helps me feel brave and like I can do something that I haven't done before. And another piece of paper just says a message to myself. It says, you can do this. 
just keep breathing and saying, you can do this. So I'm putting that in my backpack too. So now my backpack is full of things that I can take with me either, either for real, take that backpack with me, or just in my mind, hold those things in my mind and keep them in my mind and in my heart as I move to do something that might be a little exciting and a little scary at the first time. So you can click on the activity sheet and you can create your own imaginary backpack. What do you need to bring with you in your mind, in your heart, or for real to bring with you when you go do something that might, be, might make you feel a little scary as well as feeling excited. Something that's new, something that you're going to do, something that you're starting up again um, that you just need a little bit of support to do. Thanks for listening. Bye.